Now, Microsoft Copilot. This is also one of the thing which is very important. And let me show you practically as well. So when it comes to Microsoft Copilot, guys, here we go. Um, if I talk about app.powerbi, so this is the service login. Okay. Copilot is integrated with the Power BI already. So you don't need to confused. I want you to make a note of it. Microsoft Fabric is a different thing. Microsoft Power BI is a different thing. And Microsoft Copilot is integrated with both of them. Okay. So Microsoft Copilot is just an AI tool. It's just a chat GPT of Microsoft applications so that if you face any issues, then you can ask to co-pilot. Okay, so as you can see, guys, now we have a lot of tools for data handling, like we have Power BI in Microsoft Fabric as well. We have a lot of tools. So what if you need to ask what is data factory, how to use it? What is data activator, how to use it? What is data warehouse? What is real-time analytics? What is the use of data engineering in Fabric? How to use it and so on. So maybe you have a lot of questions in your mind, right? That's why Copilot comes into picture. Copilot is a chat GPT of all these applications. If you have a question, ask to the Copilot and you will get your answer. Okay. Python is not required for Fabric. No, not at all. Python is, see, Python, R, uh, Tableau, just sabhul jau. Okay. Just focus on Fabric and Copilot. They are completely independent tool. And within two, three years, these tools will be the market capture. That is for sure, 100% sure. Okay. So now, as you can see, when it comes to this online tool in here, online Power BI application, I will open one report. Okay. And as soon as I have opened one report, can you see the co-pilot in here at the top? It is already integrated with Power BI service. Okay. So you can see the co-pilot. But there is a bit condition. There is only one condition behind using Copilot, which is if we use Copilot, we need to use Fabric Warehouse. We need to use data which is presented in Fabric. So guys, this is a game of the Microsoft as well. Because if we need to use all the features of the Fabric or Copilot, then we need to spend some money for their licensing. It can be 500 to 1000 or to 2000 rupees as well. It is. It will be a very, very less amount. I will help you to log in into, you know, Power BI, Fabric and Copilot as well. But as of now, you need to just clear your foundation. Okay. That Microsoft Fabric is something where we can handle the end-to-end -end data. Okay, where we can not only handle data, where we can store the data as well. Have you guys heard about SAP HANA, SAP servers, and so on? Sapna, Rajiv, Praveen, Megha, Aditya, Neha. Most of the students are saying yes, no, no ma'am, and so on. So as companies invest the lakhs of rupees in the SAP servers just to store the data effectively, just to handle the data effectively and for the data scientist processes as well. Okay, so that's why Microsoft comes with their own data warehouse. Microsoft thought that you will do all the visualization, reporting, everything on my tool, but you are storing data on other applications. Why is it so? So that's why they come, they come up with their own data warehouse, okay, which includes in the Microsoft fabric itself. Now, when it comes to Copilot, so as you can see, guys, Copilot is already integrated with Power BI service. As of now, I have imported the data from Excel now. That's why Copilot is not working. But if I import the data from, uh, we can say, Fabric Data Warehouse itself, then the Copilot will work for sure. Yes. Likita and so on. So guys, also one thing that I want to share with all of you that let's say if I click on create, do you guys know this particular feature? Like if I click on create, so automatically in the service, in the Power BI platform, you will get this option. Other items you can create with Microsoft Fabric, like you have a complete lake house, warehouse and notebook and so on. So these all are the platforms to store the data. 
but we can get a data from Excel, CSV, or we can paste manually as well. Okay. So if I do one thing, if I get a data from, um, if I paste the data manually in here. So let me open a data in here. I will take some data from Excel sheet. Okay. Let me take this data. Okay. Let me copy the data here. Okay, copy the data. And now I will use first row as headers. Okay, and now can you see guys, we have multiple options in here. Create auto report, create a blank report or create a semantic model only. Semantic model like data modeling and all. So I will create, I will auto create a report and let's see how it will work. So just click on, click uh, you know, create an auto report. So once I click on it, it will take one, two seconds. If your data is huge, it can take more time to create an auto report as well. Okay. It is generating your report as you can see. Microsoft Power BI is itself doing it for you. Okay. Now, as you can see, they have created a report automatically. Okay. Now, guys, this report is not created by anybody of us, right? It is an auto report that Microsoft Power BI created. And guys, I have experimented this feature with lot of the data and they are giving a accurate results. They are giving a accurate graphs. So this is also one thing that I want all of you to experiment after the session, okay? Likita, Manasa, Sandeep, Lakshita, Maruti. And Neha, I'll come to your questions and quickly write yes in a chat box that yes, Aditi, I will try creating auto reporting using a Power BI service because now you guys can create your Novi Pro account. I have shared a PDF. Now you can log in into Power BI service as well. Okay. And now you can just go to create. Okay. Just go to create. And then click on paste or manually enter data. Then paste the data, use first row as headers, then create auto report. Okay. And try it from your end that with how accuracy the Power BI is creating the report. You can try with multiple sort of data set as well. Okay. It's completely on the autopilot mode. AI is doing it, uh, you know, on the behalf of us. No problem, Anu, Rajiv. We have Sanjay Kumar, Raj Kumar will help you with the same. So as you can see that your report is ready and it will just take one more minute. As you can see, the exactly report has been created. But what if you need to do some changes? Okay, then you can click on edit as well. You can click on continue. And now you have a data. And now if you want, you can edit this report as well. Okay, let's say if I don't want this chart, I want a pie chart, we can use it. I don't want this chart. I want, let's say the funnel chart, we can use it. Rather than this, I want to use a bar chart. So any chart you can use. Okay. So if you want to customize the auto created report in the Power BI service, that is also possible. Fine. And we have Copilot feature integrated in a Power BI service itself. Copilot is a AI tool. Okay. If you ask any question, if you stuck anywhere, if you are using Microsoft Fabric, Power BI, if you stuck anywhere, if you didn't found out any questions answer before coming to me, you can ask to the copilot. Okay. So let's say here the copilot is not working, but you can ask question using a bing.com as well. So let me go here. No, not here. Sorry. Uh, let me just use copilot. Microsoft Copilot. Yeah, here. So if you want, you can ask any questions here as well. Because in Microsoft Power BI, maybe you can't able to use it because you need to buy a fabric for it or you need to buy a premium license for the same. So here is an alternative. You can directly go to the copilot.microsoft.com and you can ask any questions from here. Related to anything, for an example, uh, let's say I will ask what is the difference between, okay, Microsoft Fabric and 
power br okay let's see what's what will be the answer so copilot is generating the answer and as you can see microsoft fabric a clear architecture workload strength limitations and you can see the power bi answer as well okay so this is the answer that you got and let's compare this answer with a chat gpt you can sign it into power bi just a minute huh you can sign and in, if you see in the copilot, I have not signed in yet. So it is not mandatory to sign in into copilot as of now. So let me ask a same question to the chat GPT. Okay, this is answer. Okay, so what do you think? Which answer you like the most, which is given by the copilot or the chat GPT? Because most of the students are saying that Aditi, we can use a chat GPT as well, but you can see the difference. Okay. You can see a core difference. Copilot is free to use. That's why it can have some questions limitations. Copilot is more organized and Copilot is only for the Microsoft applications. Okay, you can't able to just ask anything to the copilot. Okay, so it is only mostly designed for the Microsoft applications. That's why you can see this much accurate answer. Okay, Narayan, Rohit, Nikita, Manoj Kumar, Manasa. So I want all of you to experiment on this as well, okay? So after this particular session, you will get a lot of tasks. The first is you need to create a Novi Pro account. Make a note of it, guys. The second thing, you need to you need to try login into Power BI service and create an auto report. Okay. And try to edit the report as well. Once you do it, the third thing is you need to experiment on the copilot. Okay. Copilot ask a lot of questions to the copilot related to the Microsoft applications. Right. So that's how the copilot comes into picture, guys, where it is integrated already with the Power BI service platforms. Okay. And copilot is specially for a Power BI, which is a complete AI tool. Copilot, you can describe the insights. You need to ask a question. You can ask any question about your data to the copilot. Copilot will analyze, copilot will put the you know, pull the correct data from data warehouse. Using Copilot, you can edit the DEX calculations as well. So this is also one of the things that I want to ask each and every one of you. How many of you struggle with writing a DEX calculations? Anyone? Praveen, I will write all the tasks that you need to do after the session, okay? How many of you struggle writing a DAX functions? I will write auto report in the Power BI service as well. Okay, so most of the students are saying that, yes, Aditi, I do face a lot of issues by, for writing a DAX function. So, as you know, that Copilot is very, very good in writing DAX functions as well. Okay, so if you feel like that you can't able to understand any function, any functions, any function that you wrote in the Power BI, it is not, you know, working, it is giving you an error, then you can take a help of the Copilot. Okay, so after this session, try to write some DAX functions using the copilot itself. Okay, Venkata, Nikita, Himanshi, Kashish, Puja. So this is also one of the tasks that you need to explore after this session, which is completely regarding copilot. Okay, and regarding the DAX as well. Okay, you can ask something like, uh, what if I want to calculate, let's say, what if I want to Calculate year on year sales growth of my uh, product. Okay. 
So what is the dax function I can use? So let's see what is the answer we're gonna get. Okay. Yes, Babita. So you can see the answer, guys. That this is a this is a exactly we can say DAX we use to calculate year on year sales growth. Okay. First of all, you know, we need to define a measure of total sales. First of all, we need to calculate a total sales. Okay. The second thing is we need to calculate our last year sales. So we have calculated the last year sales like this. Now, after that, we need to define a measure of year-on-year -year sales growth, okay? Then we have took a last year sales, current sales, we have minus, and then this is a function we have used. Exactly, you can copy-paste this function and you can use in Power BI Desktop. Can you imagine this thing? You just need to understand your, of course, your logics, your data understanding needs to be clear, but you don't need to mug up anything. You don't need to learn anything, especially the DAX functions. You just need to understand the logics and concepts. And anytime you can take a help of a co-pilot for the same. Okay, so that's why in this today's session, we had a word regarding a fabric and co-pilot. Exactly this, this particular function we use to find out year on year sales growth. Okay, but in the data, you have to know that which is a sales column, okay, which is a calculate function, which is a sales period last year and divide function and so on. Some of the basic concept needs to be clear. Of course, you need to understand your data, your function, your client requirement, then give a proper prompt to the co-pilot and they will give you the perfect answer like this. Okay, so this can be the prompt example you can note. I have shared in a uh, WhatsApp chat as well. Or we can see in the Zoom chat, you can see. So quickly write yes in a chat box that yes, Aditi, fabric and co-pilot, the basic concepts are clear. The foundations are clear and from where we can use is also clear. Okay. Because Microsoft Fabric, you can get with the Power BI service itself. It is totally integrated. You can log in into Power BI now using Novi Pro ID. Copilot, you can use from this particular link. Okay, auto report, you can generate using the Microsoft service itself. Is it clear, everybody? I have downloaded the Copilot app from Play Store. That's amazing. But try to use in the desktop itself because it will give you a good exposure. Okay, Sampa, that's great. Rakesh, Babita, Madhuri and so on. Okay, so this is the thing guys, I want to literally talk about the fabric and co-pilot. Of course, in our upcoming sessions, we're gonna talk more in detail and we're gonna complete an end-to-end -end project using these both softwares as well. Okay, 